I'm no longer just pressing A um, and hitting the first move on every Pokemon. I'm now actually switching over and using other moves. What the f- this thing is so funny. It's on its head. Choppy, you spin. He spun Hitmontop around. Oh shit, he used counter. Wait, no, that was what I, I was gonna do that. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. I guess Hitmontop saw what happened to the last guy and stole my strategy, which is not cool. Really, at all. I don't appreciate that, Mr. I'm gonna spin on my hat. Mon. So. Get ready for some, some pain. With this aerial ace right here. Bam, kamikaze attack. Can't stop it. Too much kamikaze for you. Yay, flightless. Congratulations. Uh, Hitmon Lee. That's fine. He's got the whole trifecta of weird fighting Pokemon. Not as cool as the Jackie Chan and Jet Li ripoff Pokemon that we fought earlier, but still pretty cool. Wow, that thing lagged a lot at the beginning and then just died immediately. Hooray, we beat it! It's always been my dream to beat three random Pokemon from a dude who is wearing a kimono slash robe. Yay! I have lost to a child. I have dishonored my family. And he then promptly goes to commit Harikiri. Congratulations. That's a horrible joke, but I'm going to make it anyways, because apparently I just make terrible jokes now. That's no change, right, guys? Hey! Yay for self-deprecating jokes. They really make me feel amazing. <laughs> um, I don't know. Can I go up to this Team Rocket area? Whatever. Let you through? Ha! Huh, we'd only let you through if Odin himself gets defeated. Is Odin over here? Is he, is he, oh, maybe this is, uh, you know what? Actually, what I just, what I just realized, hey, Ben made a connection in the plot. Um, all these people are probably looking for that magical Wishamon, whatever it was. The Wish Pokemon. Um, also, if you're wondering, I'm heading back to the Poke Center right now. Um, <clears throat> they're probably looking for the Wish Pokemon, and Odin's going to be at the end of this magical train of people, and then we'll fight him. It'll be a hard battle, but we'll beat him with our overleveled Pokemon. And then we'll have fun. Yeah, I think uh, doing the, those Poke missions, <clears throat> probably, I don't know if those were side missions or not, but even if, if they were, they probably helped me become leveled enough to take on this part of the game. After this, guys, I'm going to give you a little treat, and I'm going to head to the Poke Mart. I don't know why I'm saying Poke now. Poke Mart. Whatever. That's how I normally say it. But apparently when I start recording, I just change the pronunciation of things for no reason. Uh, we're gonna go to the Poke Mart. Not kind of, Pokey. Fucking the Poke Mart, right? Or I guess it's just the Mart. And hear this awesome music. Uh, we're gonna get five Ultra Balls just for no reason at all. But I'm sure I'll need to do this anyways. And I have excessive amounts of money that I've gotten from all my gentlemen suitors, so. Um, I guess we'll buy a couple full heals, perhaps? But other than that, I don't know. I don't feel like we really need that many things. We seem to be doing pretty well. Might as well save up money until later. No, that's it. But maybe later in the game, there will be some kind of multiplex shopping mall that we can go into and buy lots of things for our Pokemon. I guess there was that dude in the last town. I could buy more things to have my Pokemon hold to give them more powerful moves. Okay, so we fought this dude. We didn't... Did we fight this girl? We did. Did we fight this wall? Yes, we did. We already fought that wall. The wall doesn't want to fight us anymore. Um, we fought the biker who uses his Pokemon as a kickstand because he's really mean. We already fought that dude. Fought all these dudes. A lot of fighting. This game is so violent. I can't believe it. Uh, we fought that brick wall too. I remember that wall. That was a very intense fight. It took hours and hours. Uh, fight this guy. Did you know that 90% of people hate Pokemon? Pokemon. Fuck, why do I keep saying it like that? I'm so... <laughs> I don't know. I'm weird. Unbelievable, right? That is unbelievable. It's a tragedy. Scientist Grills wants to battle. Go 
choppy. Brick break. That sounds ominous. What the f- What is this thing and why is it so powerful? It doesn't affect the- What is Rotom and why is it good? Hold up. Um, we should switch out. Is that an electric Pokemon? Let's just bring out Seahorse and try to kill it right away. Because I'm actually a little bit scared of this I don't know what it is or what it does. But it's using things like Double Team and Ominous Wind, so I'm going to try to get rid of it as soon as possible. This is probably rarer than that Leaf Pokemon we fought. Uh, let's use Hydro Pump. One hitter? Quitter? Yep, okay. It was scary, but that Ominous Wind was really foreboding his own demise. Yay! 520 experience points. Porygon Z. A through X. Didn't make the cut, I guess. He could only catch Porygon Z. The other ones are just off in the corner. Being weird wild Porygons. I've actually run into a Porygon in the wild, so... Perhaps you can't catch them in the wild. Perhaps I'm making random assumptions about things that probably aren't true. Trying to learn outrage. I feel like that was a really good move on someone used against me. Let's let's try that. Yes. I don't know. Let's see. What is outrage? It's a dragon move. Rampage is an attack for two or three turns. It then two oh two to three. It then becomes confused. It's 120 power. That's pretty damn good. Um. Hmm. I say we get rid of Brine because I never use it. So let's get rid of Brine and have outrage instead. In case we need to deal 120 damage for three turns. You have this thing. Hooray! Hooray! We defeated Bear Grills. I mean, Scientist Grills. He said something about Scientist. I don't know. He said another weird stat fact that probably wasn't correct. Uh, okay. I have not fought this. There are so many people to fight. Do you want to have a battle? Sure, kid. Do you need me to call child services? You look lost. Oh, no. You're just a weird super nerd. Super nerd Henry. He is a super nerd, all right. And he's going to have all these fun, clinky, clanky Pokemons that I love so much. Because they clink and clank. They're not limited to just clinking, or just clanking, but they clink and clank. And they also make me talk about things that make no sense, like clinking and clanking. Clinkity clink, clink, clank, clank, clank. Yay, we did it. It's about to send in a matapatinking. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, no, I'm too lazy. Whatever. A lot of work. We'll leave in super macho buff dude. Uh, let's see. Brick break. Gonna work. This guy actually is probably the closest thing to being made out of brick. He's actually made out of some sort of metal. Which isn't actually what brick is made out of, but... It's close. It's a building material. Still, right? So... So yeah. I proved no point there. But I still made a point. Sort of. Maybe. Level 43? Yeah! Go choppy. Can you evolve, please? It would be fitting to have the Macho Buff Pokemon evolve after beating the Super Nerd. Nope, I guess not. It was not meant to be. Uh, let us use a Hyper Potion on this dude. Actually, I'm going to pull in Flightless because I kind of want Flightless to be my second highest leveled Pokemon. At uh, <laughs> like six or seven levels below. See, this is what, what I was trying to do. I don't know why I switched those two. That was kind of stupid. Um, what I was trying to do at the beginning of the game is have my ratio be like five levels, so my highest level Pokemon is like five levels above the others. Um, I'm getting a little closer to that, I guess, with Flightless. I'm making the long trek from Ladoga Town to Treader Town. Are you doing that as well? I guess I am, because I'm going this way, so... I could also be wandering in the complete wrong direction, but I'm six, so I don't really know what's going on anyways. Yeah, you better be intimidated, Mr. Scythe Hands. Go cut some wheat in the fields. Uh, okay, let's close combat him. Oh shit, he endured the hit. I did not see that coming. And my defense fell, because I used that move. And my special defense fell. Uh, we will just quick attack. Hooray for pot shots. My favorite. My voice is getting sore. Flightless grew to level 44. 
I don't think Flightless evolves anymore, so not really expecting that. And Aerodactyl get it, because it's a pterodactyl, but in the air. Unlike Aerodactyls, who also fly in the air. Yes, I know none of that made sense, but that's okay. Because their pun doesn't really make sense either. I guess it's just a pterodactyl that's in the air, like other most pterodactyls are, so it's a... Whatever. It's stupid. I don't like you Pokemon creators, and I never will. Uh, another Aerial Ace seems to be in order. 3 to 15 of these should should finish off Aerodactyl. And, yep, it'll just be 3, because he made a f crucial mistake there. By just using abil agility a bunch, for some reason. Not increasing his evasiveness, just his speed. So, finally he'll be able to attack first. Well, now he died first. But... His speed was higher, so that's what's important. Really. Sort of. No. A ba ba da ba da. A bastiodon. Holy. What the f. Is this a made up Pokemon? See, guys, I really don't know what's what. This thing looks really weird. Like, I don't. It's got six eyes. Flightless can't hurt it, so. What the hell? Holy shit. Well, it's about to get. Flightless is about to get wrecked, so we might as well switch Pokemon. Yay! Da, 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 da. That's not good at all. None of that is good. I don't like... Seriously, you don't need all those status effects up, but I don't like what you're doing. So we're going to send in our uh, ace in the hole. The water dude. Because I don't like six eyes ancient power Mon. He's kind of scary. He's also got like a nose piercing. I don't... He's kind of freaking me out with all this stuff. He's too progressive. I... Go back to the old ways of Pokemon where things looked vaguely normal. Hydro Pump should do the trick. Maybe. Yep, there we go. That's what you get. Stupid old Pokemon who can only use ancient power. Old Pokemon just can't cut it in this new, younger Pokemon world. Uh, nope. We're gonna beat a water Pokemon with a water Pokemon. We're gonna try out that new move we got, Outrage. Wow, he is just sending fireballs at this dude. <laughs> no, my defense! You found my one weakness, the thing I won't be using because I'm about to kill you. Oh, I'm confused, that's so sad. Oh, I thought that said he became confused due to fat. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I guess, you know, Pokemon Zeta's doing an obesity, anti-obesity campaign. You're clearly strong enough. I guess I am, for something. Oakley dokley. Uh, we're gonna save the game here. So, uh, my voice is getting tired, so that's this is where we're gonna stop. Um, so this time we, yeah, we fought that cool duel battle with the Elite Four people who were, or that Elite Four person who was really underleveled. And then we fought just a whole crap ton of trainers. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. When we come back next time, guys, we will be doing other sorts of fun stuff. I'm gonna save again. I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I just need to save like 14 times. When we come back next time, we are going to continue along this. Maybe get to the bike place. Maybe fight Odin. I don't know. Some some sort of things will happen. Things and stuff will happen. And you will maybe watch it. Or you won't. All that certainty next time on Pokemon Zeta. Stop recording. Goodbye.